Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to save the token in the local storage we have seen. Now in this video, we will see if the token got expired. So then how we can um, force the user to log out automatically so that we will be asking him to again authenticate. Okay, how we will do that case, we will see. Why? Because the token will be valid up to 3600 seconds. That means nearly one hour. Okay, the token is valid only up to one hour. So after one hour, we need to force the user to log out or otherwise, uh, or otherwise we need to get the token refresh and we need to get the token, right? So now we will see how we can force the user log out, log out the user and ask him again to authenticate. So first is first, what we need to do is, so for example, if you see here, if you see in the application, I am, I, I am actually logged out. So here I will try to do test at the rate test.com. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, I'll be using. And here I clicked on login. So that means user data has uh, the local storage. In the local storage, we have saved the user data. But now I clicked on logout. But the user data is still persisting there only. We need to remove that log uh, user data also from the local storage when the user clicks on logout. How we can remove that one? So let's go to the logout. Okay, logout. In this logout, the, this, this method will be executed. So here we can write local storage dot clear. We can do the clear. So we cannot use this clear. Why? Because if there are other uh, values which you are storing in the local storage, make it cleared. Okay. So if you want to delete only particular item, you can use remove item of we are using user data, right? So we can remove this user data. And I can directly check the output here. If I click on refresh. Okay, now the user data we are having the user data right so now i can go here test at the rate test.com and again one two three four five six this is my password and if i click on login it's currently successfully logged in and if i click on logout see now that your local storage data has been removed so we have successfully did the thing now what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to do uh, we need to remove the data also we need to log out the data user when the token got expired so now what we'll try to do is we'll try to write a function that is auto logout okay auto logout so automatically this method has to function this method has to trigger when the user has been uh, a token has been expired so what i can do here expiration date so expiration date it will get the expiration date of type number and here what i will try to do is i will try to write set timeout of so here I will be running, uh, I will be calling this dot logout method. Okay. So now here I am writing expiration date. So this expiration date should be expiration num expiration will be it should be in milliseconds. So what it will try to do is whenever we whenever we try to call this auto logout function, a timer will start. After that particular seconds, this method will execute. This dot logout will execute. So we need to send the date, uh, the number of milliseconds. So the number of milliseconds we need to send. So when I need to execute this logout. So the number of milliseconds when we will be execute, when we will, what we will be sending is the token expiration date. So for example, uh, we have three thousand six hundred seconds. So in two thousand it will become three thousand uh, something, uh, that six thousand something like that uh, milliseconds you will be getting. So now we need to send this uh, a milliseconds here so that it will run after that one this dot logout automatically. So then the user will log in again. So where we where we need to send? We need to send in two places. That is in the handle user. Why? Because in the login and sign up, we are getting the token immediately. I will start the trick. I will start the timer. So in this handle user, I will start the timer. So whenever we get the data and I will start this dot. So auto logout, I will call it. And I need to send the data. So what I can do? So I expires in into thousands. Simply I can send it expires in into thousand. So number of milliseconds I am sending. So, so when the user logged in, then after the one one after exactly after one hour, auto logout function will execute. So this auto logout function will execute. Uh, auto logout function will execute directly in the this method. The logout method will execute after one hour. So fine. So now first time is completed. And in the second place where we need to send is in the auto login function. Why? Because after some time user came, user came and he refreshed. He refreshed the page. Then we need to send again the auto logout. So why? Because the time will be uh, less uh, less uh, less than the 
uh, actual when, when the user is logged in for example the token he expected after one hour and after half an hour he refreshed the page so we need to send this half an hour time only to that one so how we can send here i can write this dot auto logout okay i need to send the data so i cannot send directly user data uh, uh, like this user data dot expiration date i cannot send it directly so what i need to do so here what i will try to do is i will take now date okay so present date new date of dot get time means it will get it will give you the number of milliseconds and expiration date i will take okay expiration date i will take and this expiration date will be that new date of expiration date right so the, this expiration date dot get time okay the difference between these two times will be the number of milliseconds so expiration date why because expiration date will be greater so minus date so i will be sending the auto logout to the date now here what i what i can do is so here i am sending this one right so after exactly that seconds it will it will execute so what we will try to do is now we will try to do it constant after two seconds it has to log out so now let's try to execute the code okay now if i try to execute this code test at the rate test.com and here one two three four five six so immediately after i logged in after two seconds it will log out see after two seconds it has been logged out if you see three seconds four seconds immediately after four seconds also it will be logging out so that means our timer thing is working correctly and we need to send the exact seconds time so that it will it will exactly log in log out log out the user at that particular time so now here after four seconds it will be executed it will be logged out see after four seconds it got logged out now what i need to send what i need to do here i can do the expiration date and here at a, what i can do is we will console that expiration date console.log expiration date okay so now what i will try to do is i will try to refresh this code and here what i will try to do is i will try to log in log in the user so if i try to log in the user if i try to log in the user if you check here i got 3600 some milliseconds right so exactly it is executing now what i'll try to i will try to refresh so we should get something like 359 something like that we should get so if i refresh this one so we got 358 this one exactly so now our logout thing is working correctly so after this after some time after 3500 means after 58 minutes or something after a half an hour thing after one hour after one hour it will automatically log out the user will log out and now one 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 thing is left behind is for example the user uh, manually clicked on logout right but uh, if the user manually clicked on logout still this timer will be running why because it has set the timer and it is going on clocking the time so to, in order to execute but we all we have already executed the logout there is no need to execute this timer so what we can do is for in that scenario so we can take uh, one variable okay clear timeout of type any and we can take we can take this one this dot clear timeout is equal to we can save this one and when the user clicks on logout when we can do this one when the user clicks on logout and here we will be checking that if this dot clear timeout clear timeout is present then only you will be having a method clear timeout okay clear timeout clear time in clear interval you'll be having so clear time sorry clear timeout you'll be having clear timeout so the variable and both the things sorry variable and both the things are uh, looking same so clear timeout of this dot clear timeout we can use like this okay so this name you can keep whatever you want just i kept the name like that so now automatically the timer also will be cleared out so now if i go and if i refresh this one And here test at the rate test.com and one two three four five six i have written and i am clicking on login so perfect it got uh, logged in and if i click on logout so it is going log out away okay so this is how so this is how we can auto log out the user automatically when the token has got expired and another thing what is the thing you left out is so all the almost all the things are completed 
one thing is left out is so here if you go to slash uh, slash users okay so if i copy this one and if i log out so now if i paste it again i am able to access this users users thing but it should not get access why because we are not logged in then also we are going to the posts and everything we are able to go to the go to that page so we are able to go to this page so so now we are getting failed why because we don't have the token so we need to somehow protect the routes so in order to in order to only the logged in user only has the access to the these all routes we need to keep a condition so we will do it with the auth guarding thing so in the next video we will implement the routing guard also then by that time by that one so authentication entire the authentication will be completed so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you